All right, so again, when we're trying to find our recursive formula in this case, you're not going to beat it. Um, what we need to do is, did I get the 24 8 time? Yeah, it's recording. Yeah, it's okay. The first thing I had to do. Yeah, do the undo's. Cheater. All right. So what, we'll, uh, what we need to do is, again, go with our starting function. And what we're doing when we're applying the recursive formula is we're using our previous term. So again, we already know what a sub 1 is. That's given to us. Awesome. Now we want to find out what is a sub 2. All right? So to find a sub 2, what we do is we plug in our previous term in for a sub k. So to find a sub 2, we plug in the previous term. So that's a sub 1, right? Plug in the previous term in for a sub k. a sub 1 plus 1 equals a sub 1 minus 5. Now, a sub 1 plus 1 is a sub 2. And a sub 1, we are given, which is 25. So that equals a sub 2 equals 25 minus 9. Right? Five. Where nine come from? Which equals 20. So now we know the value of a sub 2. And we already were given the value of a sub 1. So now we continue on to a sub 3. A sub 3 equals, now again, to do this, you plug in the previous value into your formula. So a sub 3 equals a sub 2 plus 1, which is a sub 3, equals a sub 2 minus 5. a sub 2, we now know the value is 20 minus 5, which equals 15. So a sub 3 now equals 15. You guys kind of see yeah. the process we're doing. Right? So if I want to get a little lazy, I just know I'm going to plug in my value of, thir of a sub 3 right here, which is 15. 15 minus 5 is 10. And a sub 5. Plug 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. Yes. Are you always going to be given the, uh, yes. the A, K minus 5? You'll be given the formula and at least the starting points for those types of problems. Does that make sense?